Hello, good morning, friends, relations, audience. Thank you so much for being part of this channel and say may God Almighty bless you all. This morning we we'll have another news for you, but before we go straight to the news, we will now sit here to ask you to please press the bell icon so that we will notify you anytime we have another news for you. Thank you. And let's go straight to the news of today. Headline says, How DSS arrested man for using Buhari's daughter's previous phone line. The Department State of State Service DSS has reportedly arrested Antonio Kulie for using a phone line previously used by one of President Muhammad Buhari's daughter, Hannah. This was made known to the Guardian on Monday by the lawyer to Okulie Tope Akiyode. He said his client was apprehended in Asaba, Delta State, in July 2019. According to Akiyode, Okulie spent about 15 weeks in custody before he was released in December. He said Okulie brought the MTM scene car lawfully after Buhari's daughter abandoned it and it was Declared by the telecommunication company, the DSS had initially arrested an elderly person who has a relationship with Okulie, but released him when they got hold of his client, the lawyer reviewed. He said the SIM card become, a dumb, become redundant and was declared to the market for sale. Okulie lawfully brought the SIM card after years of redundancy unknown to him who the previous owner was. They start with all the law has settled that arrest by proxy is forbidden and unconstitutional in Nigeria. Unconstitutional in Nigeria. Also, the arrest of the victim over a property which he lawfully obtained is atrociously legal just as the long detention without trial amount to lawful detention. Akiode revealed that they are going to file a suit against Hanan and the DSS adding that his detention for 10 weeks is unlawful. I will <coughs> sorry guys I will not accept such. Thank you so much guys for listening to this news. It is very funny you know but please uh, drop your comment in comment section. This is really, really very funny. This is what I'm talking about. This is funny. That uh, one stupid man who voted in, even though he did not vote him in for the second time, that he became our president. Her daughter, a nobody before that let her become somebody. All of a sudden, because uh, somebody used the number she was using before she left the number, somebody went and bought the number from, 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 from the telecommunication a bad number for the telecommunication. Now the DSS have to come and arrest the person because he was using former num phone number of uh, uh, Hannah or whatever they call her, Buhari's daughter. This is just uh, this is just these people do to don't even know their work. This is DSS. In fact, eh, sometimes I wonder did these people even attend any any see any any university at all? Ever since all these people use DSS become they are all flani flani people. Nigeria have turned to different things. They went they arrest people for no reason because they are all born to feel it right. And they are called the SFDSS. Important thing they're supposed to do for the country to be better. Rather, they are busy going and arresting people for using for a former phone number of a president's daughter. Did anybody force the president's daughter to, 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 to uh, get rid of the phone number? Somebody went and buy a number for himself to use because the president that I used the number before he now came and arrested the person. Child of God, what is shame? Buhari no get shame. We with those in Yege, DH, DS, DS, or whatever they call they no get shame. With that useless daughter, you know, she don't even get shame. He arrest somebody because he went to telecommunication to buy a phone number. I know how the, the, the how the, the, uh, how the guy tell know whether he don't use the phone number he never use the phone number even though he knows he don't use the phone so what this is why the contract cannot be good again because you fake people 
see all that people, the real people as fake. How can a man be arrested because of a common phone number he bought from telecommunication? He did not sleep, nothing, nothing. You arrest him and put him in, keep him in detention for a complete good 15 days. If I were him, I would sue you to international community. It's not even all this nonsense. I will sue you to the international court of law. The bomb comes. Over and they have destroyed the country. We are now uh, 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 suffering, smiling and suffering forever. Suffering, smiling. Punch of illiterate that call themselves Fulani DSS. What a shame. Somebody bought a phone number from telecommunication. He went and arrested him because he using a phone number that, that was uh, let, left by the so-called Buhari daughter. Who the hell is she? A nobody that who voted his father inside is he become a president. Is it why you should tell, should you to go arrest somebody for no reason? You guys have to go back to school, DSS. Uh, people are ashamed. You have disgraced Nigeria so much. Friends, gentlemen, and ladies, I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for listening, and may God bless you all. Ah, si tout le monde en offrait plus pour Noël. Plus que quelques jours pour profiter de l'incroyable Noël des bouquets Canal Plus et du décodeur HD à 5000 francs au lieu de 10 000. Profitez des meilleurs programmes pour toute la famille pour passer les plus belles fêtes de fin d'année. La fête commence. Faire le plein d'amitié. On va avoir besoin de tous les copains. De douceur. Moi, je pense, je vis cuisine. De magie. Vous allez illuminer le ciel. D'émotion. Et ce n'est pas fini. Ah oui. En janvier, vos super-héros débarquent sur vos écrans. Super. Ça a l'air chouette. Alors, n'attendez plus pour vous abonner. C'est beau ce que tu dis.